Now we have some categories in Categories table. Also Category ID column to reference to the Pulse table. We will change this static HTML with categories from our database. Of course, we need a model to represent the category. So let's go to our terminal and make the category model. Then we need to define a relationship method to the pulse model. Because one category could be has one or more posts, so I make it in plural posts. And here we define the category has many posts. Next, let's also create a relationship in post model to the category model. Because a post belonging to one category, then we name it in singular. And here we define that the pulse model is belongs to the category model. Let's save. And then let's display the categories in this sidebar. Let's open the blog controller. And in this index method, let's get all categories from database. We short them, for example, by title or name of category. Then we pass these categories to the view. Now let's go to Resources Views Layouts directory and open the sidebar bladed PSP file. Here let's leave one category and get rid of the rest. Then we perform iteration to the list of categories that we passed through the controllers earlier. Let's see. Oops, I forgot to import the namespace of the category model. Let's try again. Now the error say that all is not defined. Okay, the all method will not work if we call any other methods such as ordered by before. So let's change it to get method. Refresh. Okay, now let's change its category name along with the number of its posts. Reload again. Okay, now we have categories from our database. Remember, we are using lazy loading method, so there will be six queries executed here. If the number of category increases, the number of queries will be much more. So let's go back to build controller and we add a method called with followed by the name of the relationship. Now let's add a link to every single category item, so that we can filter the list of the posts by selected category. Let's jump to sidebar blade PSP, and we change this with category route. And for now, we pass ID of category. And if we refresh, error will occur. This is because we call a route which doesn't exist in routes.psp file. So let's add a new route in routes.psp file. We define a new route with URI category and one parameter. Then we will map this route to the category method in block controller. And we called it category. 
now refresh again the error is gone and if we try to click the link it will show another error message this is because we have not created the category method in block controller yet let's go back to block controller and here let's duplicate this index method then we change it to category and the a parameter category id let's try again now the error is gone however we still got all posts so let's go back to block controller again and here we filter post by selected category Let's test. I think it's work. Let's try another category, web design for example. I think we have a problem. Mm, it should be two posts, but here I just display one post. Let's try another category. It's also one post displayed. And let's try web programming. Nothing at all. Back to block controller. And here let's try to debug the queries. Refresh. This is our query. I think the query is alright. Maybe we have to check the data. Okay, I know now. This relates to publication date. The post which has no date or a future date will not be displayed. So actually, there is no problem to this query. So let's get rid of this. The real problem is here, because we count all posts, regardless the publication status of the posts. So the question is, how to filter the related data using eager loading? It's very easy. Let's select post relationship. We placed it in array. The left side is the relationship name, and the right side is the closer. In this case, we can define additional queries. Here we filter only the posts that has been published. And because we have defined it in scope, just called it here. Now let's see. It turns out that internet category has only one post. Photographic has two posts. And web programming does not have any posts. Okay, we have succeed displaying list of categories and filter the post based on selected category.